Prime Day was off the chain. Yeah, Prime Day had crazy sales and there was a few things that I wanted to do some upgrades for and I was able to land on them for that course and I was pretty happy about it. Yo, so one thing that I did, I really was really happy to grab was these crucial M.2 SSDs. I caught two of them because I needed one for my major PC that I usually do for my editing. And then I also have a PC that I have for my big screen. And that's pretty much just like my console. They had the two terabytes of space and I really wanted to, I was really excited about it. So I did my, I did the one that, that I'm doing my editing on that I, that I did my edits on and I wanted to make sure that it worked. I wanted to make sure that I had no problems. So before I did after I did that and I made sure my first my first PC working, tested out, took my time, make sure I went to make sure that I did everything good before I show you guys my basically my second PC that I'm working on for for just to play my games and stuff on my big screen. So this is the reason why I'm doing this video so I can show you guys and basically I'm basically doing an upgrade myself. So let's get into it. What is going on? You guys, your boy famous kid video game entertainment. And before we go any further, make sure you hit the like subscribe button. Click like subscribing is always a big help. All right. I just want to give you guys a warning and let you guys know when I do stuff like this, I'm doing it to my stuff. So it's up to you if you want to keep going and follow behind me. Um, Here's just a tip. Maybe just watch the full video and see how everything is before you make a decision on if you want to do the transfer or not. You know, always remember whenever you whenever you do something, always remember to keep the original hard drive or keep the original M.2. Put that to the side. That way it's not touched and you don't you don't want to worry about, you know, something goes on. You can always put your stuff back. So it's no, you know, nothing won't really mess up and, and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure I'm not that good at probably like explaining this type of stuff. That's the reason why when I do something, I'm pretty much just showing you from my own, my own stuff. I'm not, I'm not taking nobody else's, um, somebody else's computer or this is not that this is my stuff. So if I screw up, yes, you know, and I, I, I messed up, but <laughs> I just wanted to let you guys know this because, you know, when I do stuff, I'm just like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that good at explaining. So I like to go ahead and break it down to you to give you the warnings. And that's just that way we can keep on moving with this and, and if, and if it works for you, please let me know. And when it, I can try to get better on, on in trying to explain and making sure everything works out. And I am going to give you necessary other warning to do before you, before you go ahead and go through these processes with that out the way. All right, let's get, let's get started. I'm going to assume that you are upgrading your either M.2 or your SSD, your regular SSD hard drive. You're going to be upgrading to a bigger size to your PC. I assume that you just got a fresh one and just like me and I'm, we're just going to go through the necessary process. Um, yeah. And then go from there. Now, if you have, this is a warning. I just want to let you know, if you have other hard drives plugged up to your PC, this is just a tip that I did. This is me just making sure that I don't screw up. I'm going to show you some, my, my setup, but if you have other like hard drives, unplug them, unplug them. So that way nothing interferes. That's just a tip that just to keep things safe and nothing don't mess with your other hard drive, especially your stuff that you may have that you have that special to you, your, some of your pictures, everything else. Cause I know, you know a lot of people, they have stuff like that for memories and they just put that stuff to the side. So unplug those hard drives, put them to the side. You don't have to take them out and install them, just unplug them. I, I'm going to assume that you that you know how to unplug those. Um, I am going to be doing this on a PC not a laptop. So, but if you know how to access to your, if you know how to access to your, to your laptops, um, hard drive and you want to change it out, then we'll, we'll just keep going with this. Okay. All right. All right. I got my tools here and I'm just going to pull this out. I got my M.2 here ready to go. I am like, oh yeah. So I got a two terabyte. I'm pretty happy about this. It's still fast. Both. This is might be just as probably gonna be a little bit faster, but this is going to really be cool for me for what I need. So I'm, I'm ready to, I'm really excited. So, and also I grabbed me one of these. This is what I use to transfer all my stuff. I just popped the M.2 up in there. It's a reader. You basically just unslide it, just slide it out. 
and pop your M.2 up in there. And it's a uh, it's super handy to have if you have M.2s. And it has a screw up on it, a screw piece on the back to where if you like want to just screw it on there and stuff. I mean, but I really didn't. I really don't need to screw. I put my M.2 up in there. I just take it out. I'm also going to leave other readers in the description read if you have a hard drive you need something to reach for your hard drive or for your ssd i'm gonna leave both those in the description so that way you can grab those so any one i'm gonna do as long as you're able to plug it up to the, to the usb port in your pc you're, you're you're good you're good to go so this is my pc right here and basically this is what i use to play my pc games on my big screen and as far as you can see just like my i have other hard drives on here which i have a little 500 m.2 plugged in and i also have a couple of 500s and then the other these other two like okay the four terabyte i i added just for added for all my games that i wanted to have up on here but um the other one is just like just like it was like another hard drive that i had added in here just to put another 500 but my major thing i need to get to is this c this is local so this this c because this one is only 500 and that one just has most of my programs on it, not my saves. It's just, I just really need to upgrade this one because, you know, it's decent. It's a, it's a, it's a WD blue. I mean, you know, I haven't problems with it, no complaints, but I do need more room. So what I'm going to do after I get through putting this program up in here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unplug both of these hard drives and I'm going to um, take out the other M.2. So that way it's only the C and the new hard drive or SSD. I would just want to install. That's it. That way I don't have no problems. That's just me. That's up to you guys. If you want to do this. Okay. That's up to you guys. If you want to keep everything plugged up and then go from there, that's up to you, but this is what I'm going to. So here's the site where the magic happens. Okay. All right. Mini tool partition wizard free. Now they do have a paid version. So but we're going to go ahead and get the free stuff, you know, so that way, you know, save some money and we're just going to download it. You're going to hit download. Just watch out for hitting up any other thing, but just hit that little download, the small download and save it and just, you know, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and open this up, you know, and get started. Okay. So you're going to be presented with your license agreements and me, what I did, I read through it. So to make sure that, you know, I, I ain't signing up for nothing crazy. So yeah, I read through it. That's just me. And then, but you can, if you want to, you can go ahead and just, uh, click the, click the next button. Okay. Then we click next and then thing and go making sure click next. Okay. Desktop shortcut. That's just me. And it's ready to install. Here we go. And we're going to launch it. So that way, yeah, let's just launch it and uh, screen up. So, all right. So here's, here's the program and we're going to hit the, you're going to see that, but you want to hit the mini tool partition that one, this one right here. That's the one we want to click on. Okay. So, now you see, I got a bunch of hard drives that, you know, that's all reading here and that's, uh, let's look for this. Let's look for my new one, look for my new one. I just wanted to show you. So that's my C type, which is, which is mostly this one. So we need to, that's the one we need to change out. That's the, that's the main one we need to change out. Okay. Then see, and that's in, I just plugged that up and that's MBR. So in order for you to in order for you to copy this, you're going to have to change from MBR to GPT. Okay. GPT. Okay. So in order for you to do that, this is where you have to go ahead and make sure before you do anything, unplug those hard drives, unplug those hard drives before you do anything. Don't touch nothing and plug your hard drives and go from there. Okay. Then what you're going to do, you're going to come back here. You're going to, you're going to click on here and then you're going to change from MBR to GPT right on the thing. Okay. And then you're going to push apply. You see, it's going to show you so that way you will understand. I just want you to, I just want to show you everything before we, before we keep going. Okay. So that way you can understand, don't copy nothing. Don't do nothing. Just change that to, um, to GPT. Once you do that, you're going to push apply. After you push apply, then that's when everything's going to change. Given the take that you only got your main hard drive and that. Okay. Okay. I just want to let y'all know what y'all seeing on the screen. I am going to, I'm just showing you the necessary, everything that's basically going to happen, you know, as you go through the necessary prompts. Okay. 
I have not unplugged my hard drives yet. I'm still, I'm still just wanting to show you all the stuff. Once you plug, once you say apply, then you'll get this screen right here. Now you see all this stuff going on. I got to unplug all this. And after I get through, I'm going to actually unplug my, my hard drives and I'm going to do this again. So that way I can get through with the video. So after that, after you pick, figure out which SSD you're using and your, your destination, that's the one you're going to use. I also put fit partition to entire disk because I'm assuming that you are putting it into a bigger, a bigger uh, SSD or M.2 or hard drive. So make sure you keep that as the first one. Then after that, you're going to push next. Don't worry about trying to do all this other stuff. Just push next. You see um, the, the bio setting and everything. It's going to fix that. If you just only have your first hard drive, your main hard drive, and if you have your new hard drive you're using okay then once you do that you see how it's going to say operations pending then that's when you push apply and then after that it's going to say hey we're you know since from being close all your applications so if you have some other stuff open close all that stuff out but i'm using my obs studio so i can show you this this is the reason why i wanted to kind of explain this to you so then after that it's just going to go through this whole thing so it's going to start working okay so it's just going to Go through this, uh, so give it a bit. Um, and then after a while, so I, I did this with my nice computer, so I was just like, I'm just showing you this before I do the rest of the prompts. So I already know this by heart, so I'm just trying to show you guys. So after that, you're gonna get something that's gonna pop on the screen to basically restart. See, it's gonna ask you a question Do you want to retry this? This and that because not everything's closed, and you're gonna do you're gonna restart now. That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna restart now, then something you're gonna get a black screen, and then something's gonna come in your black screen to finish up the process. So that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna push the restart now and then watch. Okay, I already unplugged all my hard drives. Okay, storage, storage devices. Okay, I unplugged all that and now as you can see, I have this screen. I told you all the necessary prompts and you're gonna get a black screen and you're gonna see this. If you get this, you're doing good. Let it do its thing. I don't think it's gonna take that long, but so yeah, so just let it just go through this. If you're seeing this, you're doing good. Everything's gonna be fine. So I've done the process. So you're going to see this. OK, this is my new M.2. And there's also going to you're going to see another one where it can have like a little little file, whatever. But you can't have access to it. But my regular C is working. Everything's good. OK, so let's get my other hard drives back up. All right. Here we go. Right here. As you can see, my two terabyte is right there, ready to rock that blank. I just uh that one right there. I just like changed the name. That's just something that I did. You know, so that way I know there's no reason to go up in there. Then here's my, here's my right here. The main one right here, main windows right here. All my other ones is ready to go, ready to rock all my games. All my stuff is back. I feel this is awesome. So, and if you notice my background, as you, you see, uh, everything's working because I actually had the program, um, under one of my hard drives, on um, my other hard drives, which it read. So I had no problem with that. I'm really happy that this worked out because just like I said, as I'm sitting up here recording this, I was doing this live basically in all other words. I was doing it right along with, with every, as I'm recording this, because I'm like, if this wouldn't have worked, I'm just like, I would have been just screwed. <laughs> so, so yeah, I am really happy that I got this working. So yeah. So as you can see, I, I even plugged up some of my, I even plugged up my, my little Blu-ray player. And so this is a burner. It's a Blu-ray burner. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if you are not able to find the rest of your hard drives, even as you plug them up, you're not able to find the rest of your hard drives. I also want to show you that real quick. Okay. Go to your thing, go to computer management. Okay. Go to computer management. Make sure after you already plugged up all your hard drives, I'm assuming that you plugged all your hard drives and it's not working. OK, why you here? Go down to the ones that you don't see that's not showing up. OK, then you're just going to right click it on the one that's not showing up and you're going to give it a new drive letter. So and you can actually make it to where that you could make it spell like some word if you wanted to. So each of them instead of C, I'm not going to mess with that, but, um, that's just what I did. And that way it'll pop right up. Now, what's the best way for me to go ahead and end off this video? Okay. Let's go ahead and test out a, at a game real quick. Just let's see, hold on. I got one, I got three screens, so I'm just going to pop right on and do this. So, but just like I said, I just, if you guys made it this far, thank you. I do appreciate it. Much appreciated. Now I just want to say, just, just like, 
I said before, I am not that good at explaining. I know how to do it, but explaining is just the hard part because I want to make sure that I get in detail and make sure that, you know, you guys understand and there won't be no problems that, you know, guys don't make no mistakes or anything like that. So, but if you just the person that just like enjoy just watching this stuff, I'm, I, I'm, I appreciate that too. So, you know, so there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that the tips helped out. I hope that you guys got your upgrades too. And, you know, and let me know. And if there's other methods that you guys didn't try it out, let me know in the comments because, you know, we, we all have to teach each other and help out each other. So, you know, and that way, you know, saying it, it'll, it'll work out. There's also other videos if they're for troubleshooting to, to get things going and, and stuff like that. Say for instance, like you wanted to wipe your hard drive and stuff like that. There's always, there's always tutorials out there. So, all right, you guys, thank you guys. I'm going to end it right here. And from Gaming to Gamer, thanks for watching.